if you're if you're lucky, if you're really lucky, you'll have some some really good friends that you. These are the people in your, in your whole life that you feel most yourself with and most comfortable with. And sometimes you get together at their house, at someone's house, and, and you're talking and you're talking about dads and everyone's sounding off about their dads. And it's a big subject and everyone's complaining and whinging about their fathers. And there's one man who hasn't said anything. And one of the women notices that he hasn't said anything because women notice this kind of thing. And she says, David, how about you? And David pulls his chair in a bit. And people look at him and they see his face. And his face is shining. His eyes are shining. And he says, well, I, I haven't said much. You're right. I've been listening to every word, but I haven't spoken. Because it's different for me. My old man is, is amazing. He's a fantastic dad. I couldn't design a better dad than my dad is. I was going to use the word friend to describe it, but it doesn't come close. He's like an emotional backstop in my world. If I have problems or worries, I would always talk to my dad, go and see my dad. And it's not like we always agree, not at all. It's that, we're, that he's on my side. In life. And I don't know what it'll be like when he's not around. No, you, you hear that, but it's a little bit out of the ordinary, isn't it? A little bit unusual. Pretty sad, really, that only one man in ten probably would, would, would actually say, I am close to my father.